Hi students, coming to the next topic in the subject microprocessors 8051 microcontroller. So, so far we have discussed about microprocessor. Now let us see what is this microcontroller. A microcontroller is a small and a low cost microcomputer which is designed to perform the specific task of embedded systems like displaying microwaves of information, receiving remote signals, etc. So, at simple we call it as a microcontroller is a small and low cost microcomputer. So, which is designed to perform uh, a specific task only it is designed to perform it is designed to perform specific task of embedded systems of embedded systems like displaying microwaves information let me write that displaying microwave information receiving remote signals etc receiving remote signals etc so this microprocessor is a the general microcontroller consists of the general microcontrol controller consists of so what this microcontroller consists of it the main part that consists of the processor it's nothing but the cpu the central processing unit the memory a memory is nothing but ram rom eprom so all this comes under the memory and some serial ports and some peripherals peripherals like uh, timers counters timers counters etc means some more um, components that are integrated with this 80851 microprocess microcontroller so 8051 microcontroller consists of the processor memory serial port peripheral devices and all those are integrated in a single chip that you call it as a microcontroller whereas in microprocessor a microprocessor is uh, if you take a microprocessor a microprocessor is integrated with only the cpu means the arithmetic logic unit control unit and registers so the microprocessor is integrated with only the alu uh, the arithmetic logic unit the control unit and the register whereas microcontroller if you take microcontroller a microcontroller is integrated with all components like the cpu the central processing unit memory memory just like ram rom and some serial ports and some peripherals etc okay so this is the difference between the microprocessor and the microcontroller a microprocessor is having only the processing devices and which is or used to uh, al used to perform the calculations and the registers are used to store the data and the control unit used to monitor everything whereas microcontroller is integrated with all means you can call it as embedded system this is embedded with all the processor the memory the serial port and peripherals etc now let us see the main features what are the main features of the microcontroller so let me write the main features the main features of microcontroller first it is an 8 bit it consists of this 8051 microcontroller consists of 8 bit data bus which is used to transfer the data and 8 bit alu arithmetic logic unit which is used to perform the all arithmetic and logical operations so the alu can take at a time the 8 bit of data and perform the operation and next feature it 8051 consists of 16 bit address bus so whereas here 8 uh, 8051 microcontroller is having 8 bit data bus and 16 bit address bus so this 16 bit address bus is having 6 
it can transfer 64 kilobytes of RAM and ROM. So this is another point. So it uh, 8051 microcontrol consists of 8 bit data bus, 16 bit address bus and 64 kilobytes of RAM and ROM and it's having on chip RAM so of size it is having 128 bytes 128 bytes of RAM so the RAM is nothing but here the data memory is stored a data memory is stored in RAM and it is having the on chip ROM. So I said this is 64 kilobytes of RAM and ROM. So the 64 kilobytes of RAM is divided into 128 bytes of data memory. And this uh, on chip ROM consisting of 4 kilobytes of memory which is used for program memory. On chip ROM stores the program memory and whereas the RAM stores the data memory that you have to be remembered RAM stores data memory and ROM stores the program memory and the another feature is it is having four 8 bit four 8 bit bi-directional IO ports bi-directional input output ports and it is having 8051 microcontroller is having one or two uh, UART that is a serial port universal asynchronous receiver transmitter it's a serial port it may have one or two one or two UART and 8051 microcontroller consisting of two 16 bit 16 bit timers and two level interrupt priority and two level interrupt priority and all the modern versions uh, versions are use this CMOS all modern versions or CMOS so these are the main features of 8051 microcontroller so that you have to remember that that 8051 microcontroller is having 8 bit data bus 16 bit address bus and on chip ram is 128 that is nothing but the data memory is stored and on chip rom is the 4 kilobytes that stores the program memory and it's having the 4 8 bit bidirectional io ports and one or two serial ports and two 16 bit timers and the counters and two level interrupt priorities that is the hardware level and the software so this is about the main features of the 8051 microcontroller so let me explain uh, again the difference between the microprocessor and microcontroller so that you will clearly understand the topic of the microcontroller let me write the difference so here i am taking the microcontroller so already i had explained about this difference between microcontroller and microprocessor so again i am explaining microprocessor a microcontroller is used it is used to execute execute a single task within an application so the main use of the microcontroller is to execute a single task within an application whereas microprocessor or used for or used for big applications here microcontroller uses only the single task within an application and microprocessor is used for the big applications and next a microcontroller is design it's designing and hardware cost is low microcontroller it's designing and hardware cost is low whereas microprocessor it's designing and hardware cost is high it's designing and hardware cost is high why it is microprocessor is high and microcontroller is low because the microcontroller is used to design only to uh, perform a single task suppose if you take the micro oven so uh, for micro oven you need only the microcontroller uh, which performs for heating everything only the it to do the operation of the cooking 
and whereas microprocessor if you take the microprocessor uh, let us take the system the uh, the system is uh, your computer system or whatever the uh, tablet whatever the uh, uh, phone you have taken the microprocessor so there you are having you are doing multiple tasks so when you are doing the multiple task you can prefer the microprocessor and say for single task or you can go for the microcontroller and the microcontroller is a single is a chip which consisting of all the integrated embedded with the serial ports input output ram rom everything will be integrated in a single chip okay as for microprocessor you have to be uh, add the add on cards like the ram uh, ram rom and uh, all the external peripheral devices you have to be add so that may increase the system designing cost also and next uh, it's uh, it, it is easy to replace whereas microcontroller is easy to replace and coming to the microprocessor, uh, it's not so easy to replace. You can replace, but not so easy to replace. This uh, microcontroller consists of uh, CPU, RAM, ROM, I/O ports. All are integrated in a single chip. Whereas in microprocessor. It does not consist of, it does not consist of RAM, ROM, I.O. ports, okay. It uses its pins to interface to peripheral devices. It's having the pins, but those pins will be co uh, connected to these uh, interfaces devices. So, it's, uh, it uses this microprocessor uses its pins to interface to peripheral devices. So, the pins are connected to the peripheral devices like RAM, ROM, I.O. ports so that uh, it can communicate with the CPU. Whereas in microcontroller, all are integrated in a single chip. So, there, are, there is no need to connect to the external port. If you want to extend that microcontroller, you can connect the external uh, I.O. ports and external ROM. Already the inbuilt RAM and ROM I.O. ports will be there. If you want to more, con uh, if you want to go for the more configuration, if you want to make uh, more, if you want to connect the more I.O. ports, you can go for the external uh, components. So, this is about the uh, just a difference between the microcontroller and the microprocessor and the main features of the microcontroller. Thank you.